Hello students, good morning. Last day we, we had learned about the story of Palampur. In that we have learned about Palampur uh, as a well developed village and also we have analyzed about the factors of production, right? And in that factors of production we have completed, there are four factors of production that is land, labor, capital which can be fixed capital, working capital and again we have learned about human capital. Next we have to study about land is fixed. We can say that farming is the main occupation in Palampur. So Palampur as uh, resembles the, a village in western UP and most of the villages in India where we can see farming is the main occupation. Same way, Palampur, we can see farming is the main occupation. About 75% of the people are dependent on farming. And we can see that since 1960, there has been no expansion in land area under cultivation. So, land area uh, has been not increased uh, after 1960, 1960. Even though land area is not increased, People increase the production through different methods. First method they had used that was known as multiple cropping. Multiple cropping in the sense during the rainy season, there are mainly uh, season, agricultural seasons. For example, Kharif season, that is rainy season. Then uh, Rabi season, that is known as the winter season. So Kharif season, that is rainy season, Farmers in Palampur grow jowar and bajra. So that is one met, one type of crop, kharif crops. Jowar and bajra during rainy season they grow. In October, December, during the winter season, uh, in between, before the winter starts, people grow potato. And in the winter season, that is rabi season, people grow wheat. So there are three main crops grown. One is Jowar Bajra during Kharif season. In between Kharif and Rabi, that is October, December, people grow potato. Winter season, people grow Rabi crops, that is wheat. And sugar cane is harvested once in every year. So, <clears throat> these are the crops that Palapur people grow in their field. Through this multiple cropping, this is known as multiple cropping. Through this, farmers in Palampur can grow many crops and they can increase production and they can uh, get the harvest. So though uh, land is fixed, people depend on various production methods or various farming techniques in Palampur. One, I have explained that multiple cropping. Next thing we have to study that is well-developed irrigation. So people can cultivate these all crops due to the well-developed irrigation facilities. Palampur people grow many crops due to well-developed irrigation. And irrigation, for irrigation, they depend upon tube wells. Uh, then uh, pump sets they have. Most of the field, most of the farmers, they have pump sets. Then uh, tube wells, they depend upon. Electric front tube wells, they depend upon. So, this electric run tube wells. Because of electricity, they can run the tube wells. So, electricity is one of the important um, advancement or develop, development in Palampur. That is, uh, so that we can say that Palampur is a well-developed village because it has electricity connection. Electricity came to Palampur very early. And after the arrival of electricity, people use electricity for irrigation. Mainly uh, the electric current tube wells they depend upon. Before the electric connection people depend upon Persian wheels. Persian wheels that was the olden method to, uh, to for the irrigation. And um, uh, people depend upon electric current tube wells in large areas or large fields where they can effectively cultivate many crops. Uh, and first in Palampur, the electric 
front to base for in for, were installed by the government later many private individuals farmers they had with their own money they had uh, installed or they had set uh, started setting up private tube wells so tube wells are one of the important feature of palampur uh, farmers and next thing that because of these tube wells they could cultivate um, uh, cultivate many uh, many more areas or around uh, 200 hectares uh, areas they could cultivate and irrigate and cultivate so irrigation is one of the important factor in cultivation and uh, through this irrigation they can cultivate more you know, feed then multiple cropping we can define as to grow more than one crop on a piece of land during the year to grow more than one crop on a piece of land during the year is known as multiple cropping next another method to increase productivity or increase uh, farming depend uh, that is uh, palampur people depend upon that is known as modern farming methods modern farming methods as we know i have told you that well developed irrigation system is a part of modern farming method other than that uh, modern farming method includes many uh, important features of green revolution as we know that green revolution was successful in india which increased the production of crops and production of food grains mainly wheat and rice so palampur people also depend upon green revolution techniques for increasing production Uh, in that modern farming methods which were which uh, brought about by green revolution we can say that green revolution in the late 1960s green revolution was initiated or introduced one of the main feature of this green revolution was hybrid uh, seeds or high yielding varieties of seeds this hyv seeds or high yielding variety seeds are the main feature of green revolution this Uh, compared to the traditional seeds hyv seeds can increase the production or more amount of grains on a on one plant so that uh, if traditional seeds we depend upon it can give less harvest or less grains less amount of grains but hyv seeds which can promise more amount of grains but the thing is that hyv seeds need plenty of water Uh, that is one of the important another necessity for hyv seeds and again if we want to get more production from hyv seeds we have to use chemical fertilizers and pesticides then only hyv seeds promise a better result so hyv seeds which require more amount of water um, chemical fertilizers needed instead of organic fertilizers fertilizers like cow dung which was used in traditional seeds again pesticides we have to depend upon so these all prove successful result uh, by using hyv seeds we can see that punjab haryana western uttar pradesh uh, where green revolution was first implemented so same way palampur people also came to know about green revolution techniques they had started using hyv seeds in the farm farmers in palampur they started these methods to increase the yield so green revolution was another method which can uh, bring uh, more amount of food grains or more amount of harvest for the farmers but we could see that green revolution had has many effects or many adverse effects Uh, as we know green revolution is good to increase the production but at the same time green revolution also has many drawbacks the thing is that when we use modern farming methods which is a part of green revolution if then uh, it can if we overuse it it can um, overuse the natural resources or more amount of natural resources are to be exploited this also prove or this also create loss of soil fertility green revolution most of the techniques like high yield variety seeds which needs pesticides and 
uh, in pesticides and also fertilizers because of that natural fertility of the soil can be lost and another thing continuous use of ground water which can reduce the underground water table irrigation is more required for this hyb seeds traditional seeds we require less irrigation less water but hyb seeds need more irrigation more water so farmers have to depend upon ground water for electric and tube wells um, wells etc they depend upon the ground water when we exploit more and more ground water the underground water table can be reduced which is a drawback of the green revolution and the drawback of the hyb seed and also we must take care of our environment to ensure development of agriculture so we can say that agricultural development is required but we have to ensure that our devel our development agricultural development uh, should not hamper the environment so we have to be in care or we have to take care of our environment before we use the agricultural techniques of modern farming techniques so modern farming techniques we use uh, that which is brought about through green revolution these modern farming techniques have lot of uh, advantages at the same time lot of disadvantages today we have learned about how land can be used even though it is fixed how it can be used for better production or increase the production as we have discussed one is that multiple cropping second one we have you we have I, told, I have told you that modern farming methods in the modern farming methods the main important thing that is use of hyb seeds hyb seeds is a part of the green revolution and another thing well developed uh, irrigation system and modern farming methods also include uh, the chemicals chemical fertilizers and also pesticides these all can prove a better result for uh, increasing production but green revolution has many advantages and disadvantages so with this um, these all we can say uh, we can increase the production of grow more than one crop in the same piece of land 